Ever wonder how politicians manage to make even the most controversial policies sound appealing? The secret lies in the art of political language and framing. This cunning craft is not about lying or twisting truths, but about constructing and presenting ideas in ways that resonate with us, the public. Political language is the choice of words and phrases politicians use to describe their policies and opponents. It's a carefully constructed narrative designed to evoke certain emotions and reactions. Framing on the other hand is the method of packaging these narratives in a way that influences how we perceive and interpret them. It's like placing a certain filter on a photograph to highlight or downplay specific elements. Politicians use these tools to shape public opinion and steer policy debates in their preferred direction. Now that we have a basic understanding of political language and framing, let's delve deeper into a real-world case study. Consider the debate around climate change policy. How have politicians used language and framing to shape this discussion? Let's dive into this fascinating world of political linguistics. For instance, some politicians frame climate change as an existential threat, a phrase that conveys urgency and demands immediate action. This language intends to evoke an emotional response, perhaps fear or concern, which can motivate people to support aggressive climate policies. On the flip side, there are politicians who refer to climate change as a natural cycle. This term suggests that climate change is a routine, perhaps even inevitable part of Earth's history. Such framing might lead to a more passive approach, with less emphasis on human intervention. The choice of these words is not accidental. It's a strategic move to create a particular perception, a specific narrative around climate change. The narrative is then used to justify certain policies or oppose others. Take for example the narrative around green jobs. This term, often used by politicians advocating for renewable energy, paints a picture of a thriving, sustainable economy. It suggests that tackling climate change can also address unemployment and economic inequality. Then, there's the narrative of economic burden. Those who oppose aggressive climate change policies often use this phrase. The framing here is that these policies would hurt businesses, increase taxes, and potentially lead to job losses. Both narratives are powerful, and they shape how we perceive the climate change debate. Whether we see it as an opportunity for economic growth or a threat to economic stability, that perception influences our stance on the issue. Our understanding of the issue, our emotions towards it, even our actions, are all influenced by this political framing. It's a subtle yet powerful tool that shapes not just our perception, but the entire public discourse around climate change. As we can see, political language and framing have a significant impact on the climate change debate. But how does this translate into public policy? The words politicians use don't just affect public opinion, they also shape public policy. Let's delve deeper into this concept. When political leaders articulate their thoughts, they're not just communicating their stance. They're setting the stage for policymaking, and the language they use, the framing, can make all the difference. Consider our previous discussion on climate change, Politicians who approach the issue as an urgent crisis use language that reflects that urgency. Their words evoke images of melting ice caps and rising sea levels, and their policies often align with this message. They might push for stricter regulations on carbon emissions or propose significant investments in renewable energy. On the other hand, those who frame climate change as a long-term concern might use less dramatic language. Their words might paint a picture of a gradual shift in climate patterns and their policies could reflect a more measured approach, like incremental changes to emission standards or slow transitions to cleaner energy sources. So you see the language of politics is not just about persuasion, it's about setting the agenda, defining the problem, and proposing solutions. The words chosen by politicians can influence what issues are prioritized, how they're addressed, and what solutions are considered viable. But it's important to understand that this influence is not unilateral. Public opinion in turn, can shape political language and framing. Politicians might adapt their language to resonate with their constituents, to gain public support for their policies, or to respond to shifts in public sentiment. For example, if there's a surge in public concern about climate change, politicians might begin to use more urgent language and propose more aggressive policies. Conversely, if public sentiment shifts towards economic concerns, politicians might reframe climate change as an opportunity for job creation in the renewable energy sector. So we've seen how political language and framing can shape policy, but what happens when a policy window opens? 
Policy windows are moments when conditions align for a policy change. How do politicians use language and framing during these crucial times? Policy windows in essence are unique opportunities in the political landscape where a combination of events, public sentiment and political will converge to make policy change not just possible but highly likely. It's like the stars aligning in the cosmos, but for the political realm. Let's take a closer look at our ongoing climate change case study. Remember when a series of devastating hurricanes and wildfires struck, coinciding with a period of heightened public concern about climate change? That, my friends, was a policy window. And it was wide open for politicians to drive substantial policy changes. But policy windows alone don't guarantee change. It's here that the art of political language and framing takes center stage. Politicians must skillfully use language to frame the issue in a way that resonates with their constituents, making the need for policy change both clear and urgent. Take, for instance, the way politicians framed the climate crisis during this policy window. Instead of getting lost in the scientific jargon, they spoke of the war against nature, the fight for our children's future, and the moral imperative to act. This language painted a vivid picture of a looming disaster, one that could be averted only by swift and decisive policy action. And it worked. The urgency of the situation was felt far and wide, leading to the passing of landmark legislation aimed at curbing greenhouse gas emissions. This is a prime example of how language and framing can turn a policy window into a gateway for change. But remember, not all policy windows are seized, and not all framing is successful. It's a delicate dance requiring the right blend of timing, language, and political savvy. That's the game of politics for you. Just as with the overall policy debate, the way politicians frame policy windows can significantly impact the outcome. So, as we witness political debates and policy changes unfold, let's remember to pay close attention to these policy windows and the language used to frame them. It's in these moments that the course of our collective future is often decided. So, what can we learn from this exploration of political language and framing? As we draw this discussion to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points we've talked about. Our journey through the labyrinth of political language and framing has shed light on some truly fascinating aspects of politics and policymaking. We've delved into the intricate ties between language and politics, exploring how the former often serves as a powerful tool in the hands of the latter. Political language, with its unique blend of rhetoric, symbolism, and emotion, has the potential to shape public opinion in profound ways. It can stir passions, evoke emotions, and sway perceptions, all of which can have far-reaching implications on policymaking. We've also touched upon the concept of political framing, a strategy that politicians use to present issues in a way that aligns with their own or their party's viewpoints. By framing an issue in a certain light, politicians can subtly influence how the public perceives it, thereby shaping the discourse around it. This, in turn, can affect policy decisions, as public opinion can exert considerable pressure on policymakers. Take for instance the issue of climate change. By framing it as a crisis that necessitates immediate action, politicians can galvanize public support for policies aimed at mitigating it. Conversely, by downplaying its severity or disputing its existence, they can stymie efforts to address it. Thus, the power of framing lies not just in shaping public perception, but also in influencing policy outcomes. Moreover, we've discussed the concept of policy windows, those fleeting moments when the political climate is ripe for the introduction or change of a policy. Understanding when and how these windows open can be crucial for politicians and policymakers. By strategically employing language and framing, they can seize these opportunities to push their agendas and affect change. In essence, political language and framing are more than just elegant words and clever rhetoric. They are strategic tools that can shape public opinion, influence policy decisions, and even alter the course of politics. They are the threads that weave the tapestry of political discourse, the currents that steer the ship of policymaking. But remember, as powerful as these tools are, they are not infallible. The public, while susceptible to the influence of language and framing, is not a passive recipient. We have the power to question, to analyze, and to challenge the narratives presented to us. We can look beyond the rhetoric, scrutinize the framing, and make informed decisions. Next time you listen to a political speech or debate, pay attention to the language and framing. You might be surprised at what you uncover. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.